Hey gang, I'm always doing tractor related videos or, or something that has to do with fixing something, but uh, uh, when I started out doing videos, it was firearms, knives, uh, EDC everyday carries, pocket dumps, uh, stuff to that effect, and I haven't done an EDC carry video in a long time. And the main reason is, it is not switched up, other than wearing out a wallet and going to another one. Uh, my EDC carry has pretty much remained constant uh, over the past few years. But we're going to go ahead and go through it anyway because there are some additions that uh, come about on occasion depending on where I'm going and what I'm doing. So let's just get it out of the way. This Zippo case is probably 20 years old. I cut my own thumb hole in it to make it easy to get the lighter out. The lighter that I carry obviously is a Zippo and it is a Zippo armor case. It's 50% thicker brass uh, which makes it a very very durable lighter. I've dropped it numerous times and it only shows just the barest little markings on it uh, and the little signature circle here from the rivet on the back side of the snap which I don't know if you guys can see or not. Probably not. But anyway, irrelevant. But it is so worn out. And then it, it's just the, the patina on it is right there. It used to say Zippo here. That's, and it was even embossed. That's gone. Just the whole line. It, but that is in the everyday carry. The Zippo lighter. The keys. I am still using my Victorinox Keykeeper. I'm still on my first one. I purchased two at the same time in case uh, the first one wore out. No such. I've had this over six years. It is still holding up marvelously. I have aviation cable type of uh, key holder on here. I like this better than the screw type because it simply has a pull pin on the back. You pull the pin and you can remove anything you need to remove. You can also join these together. All of my keys have these. Uh, I've got a set of keys for my Jeep, set of keys for Clifford, my 92 GMC Sierra, and a set of keys for Old Blue, which is what these are, and if you notice, blue. And then Clifford's keychain is red, and uh, the Jeep's is silver, although the Jeep is red. Um, this is a pill fob. Uh, those of you who who have followed me for a long time know that I have chronic back pain. I've broken my back twice. I've had uh, spinal fusions. I've got uh, electrical implants. Just all, But this is my lifesaver. It holds what I call Dan Watson. It's only because one pill says Dan, the other pill says Watson on it. So this is my Dan Watson lifesaver carrier right here. And I'm using a little true clip so that if I'm driving down the road and I move the wrong way or get a tweak I can just pop it off grab what I need. Uh, just the standard keys you got the house key, the car keys um, this is a lock key for my shop and then the truck cap key so that's the keys and that's the key holder this is a grocery getter. All it is is just a little dental pick and a small compact package. So after I get done eating, I can dig the goodies out. Sometimes I leave them in there for a snack later on. I know, gross. Um, I always carry a second set of keys. And I have a P7 suspension clip. And this is the first one also that was purchased about the same time as this. Holding up very, 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 very well. There's almost nowhere at all on that on the ring on the on that clip and this suspends down inside my pocket and leaves the bottom of my pocket free to put other things in my pocket without interference of the keys I don't like having a big bulk of something down in the bottom of my pocket just jingling around like keys so and then the flashlight has a similar clip to my pill fob just clips off in fact, it's an identical clip. Uh, these are stainless, not the titanium versions. Titanium versions include a titanium carabiner clip, and uh, they fail. They, they, they just get weak. 
it's hard to get spring tension in, in uh, titanium. But anyway, uh, this is the E3OS uh, made by ITP, which is now Olight. They still manufacture uh, this type of light. And batteries in this last a, an ungodly length of time. Um, over a year, even just with a standard. And I think all I've got in here is just a. Yeah, I've got an old Duracell. Let's see what the. Yeah, see, I don't know if you can see the date on the Duracell. You know, the Duracells are made and the batteries are set, you know, 10 years in advance. Uh, this one's 2017, it's just a year away. March of 2017 is when you're supposed to chuck this battery. That gives you an idea how long the batteries last in this. And I use this flashlight all the time. Uh, on any given day, probably six, seven times I'll pull this out. And uh, You can look up uh, Olight and look up their E3 and uh, get the lumens, but you've got medium that's first and that's one I use most often. And then just a little book reader. I think it's one and a half lumens somewhere in that range. And then if I really need a lot of light, you guys can see. I mean, it, it, for a single AAA, puts out a lot of light. So there's that. And this has been in the EDC as long as the rest of this stuff here has been. Um, oh, I didn't. Uh, one thing about that little pill fob that uh, I showed you it's compartmentalized. It has a bottom compartment. You can see that it stops there and a top compartment so I can put uh, my necessary dose one dose in the top one dose in the that's backwards one dose in the top one dose in the bottom and they're kept separated and I'll have to sort through them just a little convenience matter there alright so there's those keys and this has uh, keys for almost everything so that I'm not having to go hunt keys down for example, um, this key is for the trailer hitch on my 92 uh, GMC Sierra. That's a key for the truck cap on Old Blue, my 90 Chevy work truck. This key could actually be taken off because this is a key for uh, my aluminum toolbox, but I just leave it on there so it's, it's present and ready another key for the shop, two keys for Clifford, two keys for Old Blue, and a spare house key. So this covers about 90 percent of what I need in the way of keys and if I don't have the key that's needed it is close by with the use of these keys, meaning uh, if I need to pull the hitch, I've got a step hitch on Clifford and I've got a step hitch on Old Blue. Well, I've got those spare keys in the cab, so I can just open the cab up, grab those keys, and I'm off and run into the races. So, uh, kind of a well thought out plan that's worked well for me for a number of years. So, there's that. My wallet. I love a thin, minimalist wallet. There is no pocket for money. And this one's actually been reversed. That was kind of silly. I kind of showed my ID there. I know you guys pause and get my information and come over to my house. That's all right. I've got. Uh, I have ways of making you talk. So when I get receipts or anything like that, they just get tucked into the money clip. In fact, there's a receipt there that needs to go get filed. But um, it was originally intended to carry like that with the clip on the inside. Well, it's a metal clip, and I don't like that. So I just flip the thing around, and it holds all the pertinence. Also keeps me from stuffing my wallet full of unnecessary things. Then we have my tried and true North American Arms 1 and 5 8 convertible 22 Magnum slash 22 long rifle that I keep the magnum cylinder in, <coughs> excuse me, with uh, federal TNT ammo. If you guys have never seen that ammo, check it out. Uh, it's uh, pretty awesome. So that stays in there. It's got my silver uh, rosewood grips. 
silver stained rosewood bricks. But and it's in a pancake holster. Uh, the pancake holster is made by Rob Leahy. Uh, this was made uh, when he was up north. He's since moved to Arizona, I believe. But if you can see the slots in it, it can also be worn on your belt. I just always put it in my back pocket. So there's that. And then most generally, my headset is always with me uh, in the event that I get a phone call as I'm driving down the road or if I'm busy in the shop and want my hands free so I can still talk so there's that and of course you've got the phone uh, it's an iPhone 6 with a pelican case I've had this phone for over a year and this case coupled with uh, my tempered glass screen protector which did save my screen one time by the way and this glass has a lifetime warranty this Pelican case is real thin, real unassuming, and I've dropped it a number of times. I've never, ever, ever, except for the one time I dropped it on a sharp point to the face of the phone. I've never had a problem with uh, this Pelican case. So it is an alternative to the OtterBox, and it's also a lot more compact. The pocket clip. I've, I've, I always have to wear my phone on the outside. I can't stand wearing my, putting my phone in my pocket. Uh, this clip also has a kickstand. It's got a little metal loop that you pull out. And you can reverse your phone in it and set your phone down. You can also set it in the uh, landscape in case you're watching a video or something like that. So there's the phone. So, what else is carried? Well, I would mentioned that uh, I've got an implant. This big box of a thing that uh, closely resembles the uh, Nokia brick phone is uh, the remote for my Let me get it to... Hang on. Okay. Which is to control my implant and allows me to raise and lower the level and just do a bunch of stuff with it. So uh, that is most generally with me if I'm having a bad day uh, on the pain scale, anything five or above, that's with me. On occasion, although I do not take this out of my pocket, something else comes into play, depending on where I'm going, and it is uh, my old get all the rest of this stuff out of the way. Uh, my old uh, Smith & Wesson 5906. Heavy, heavy, heavy gun. Uh, the holster that I have is a Tagua, T-A-G-U-A, and it is a small of the back inside the waistband. And I just love this thing. It sits in, conforms, and the clips are on the areas that help conform and that thing stays put uh, in the small of my back you guys would think with my back problems that this would uh, aggravate it does not it is it, just great uh, the only time I have problems if I sit in a hardback chair uh, but 5906 um, is always kept with a loaded magazine but with an empty chamber um, it's 14 plus 1 uh, there's a number of different styles of the 5906. This particular one has the jimping on the front of the finger guard. So this one is taken with me on occasion. Like I say, depending on where I'm going and what I'm doing. If I'm going to the city or something like that, it's there with an additional 14 rounds. So I'm packed down pretty good if I'm going somewhere uh, that requires, that I feel requires it. Uh, otherwise, my ADC is right there in that lump that's it so there is just one I just dropped the magazine there is just one more thing that does uh, always go with me because I've got to be sure footed and sure stepped and that's uh, my cane this is an all aluminum cane with a interchangeable Get that off here. 
an interchange. I like the T-type handles, but um, with an interchangeable head. And they also have the standard loop type that's available. But uh, the cane is always with me as well. I'll show you. It has uh, these nice lines down at the bottom of it. It's got a good weight to it, a nice balance, a good sturdy rubber tip. You guys might have seen there's a spare there. Uh, and I get a lot of comments on it. Uh, people think that it's kind of an extravagant looking cane. Um, I'm not quick on my feet, so if I can't... This is my first line of defense. Now, I'm having a bad day. I'm hobbling around. I'm using my cane. Somebody decides they're going to come up on me. This is going to hurt. I mean, that's a hammerhead, and that's a, one of the reasons I like carrying it with this head on it as opposed to this one. So the cane is always with me as well. I have other canes that I carry uh, that I've made uh, or that I've purchased, but most generally it's this uh, all aluminum clear anodized beautiful craftsmanship of a cane. So there you have it. This is a little bit of a long-winded EDC video, but I wanted to catch you guys up on what Zippo's toting around and uh, for the haters that uh, want to voice their opinions about how long my videos are, note something. I stayed on point with describing what was going on. I didn't go off on a rant. I didn't babble. So lump it! <laughs> And I don't know why I feel the need to throw that in all the time. I've just got a few little trolls that hang around and like to bust on me about it. But, such is life and it goes on. This is Zippo. You've seen my 2016 EDC carry in its entirety with different options that come into play at times. And I hope that y'all enjoyed later. I'm out. I almost forgot. There is a new addition to the EDC carry and it's goofy. And you guys that have watched my recent videos can probably guess what it is. Sitting in the bottom of my left pocket. My EDC pocket top. Later.